we have something truly special in store for you. We're going to dive into the world of ultra-rare Washington quarter-dollar coins from the years 1974 and 1980. Stick around because we'll not only explore their fascinating history, but also uncover their current market value. Let's get started. Behold, the 1974 Washington Quarter, a coin that not only holds value in its metal content, but also tells a story of its own. Before we discuss its historical significance, let's talk about the basics. Minted in 1974, this quarter features the iconic profile of our nation's first president, George Washington, on the obverse side. Flip it over and you'll find a majestic eagle on the reverse. The coin is composed of a copper nickel clad composition weighing 5.67 grams and measuring 24.6 millimeters in diameter. Now let's dig into the historical context. The year 1974 marked a time of change and transition in the United States. It was the bicentennial anniversary of the country's independence and preparations were underway for the grand celebration in 1976. The Washington Quarter, being a part of everyday transactions, became a canvas to commemorate this historic event. The U.S. Mint embraced the spirit of the bicentennial by featuring a special reverse design on the quarter from 1975 to 1976, the drummer boy design. Although the 1974 Washington Quarter didn't bear this special design, it serves as a precursor to the bicentennial celebrations. Now, let's talk numbers. The 1974 Washington Quarter was minted in large quantities, making it a readily available coin for collectors. However, its large mintage doesn't diminish its appeal or historical significance. For those interested in specific figures, the Denver Mint and the Philadelphia Mint both produced these quarters in substantial quantities, so you're likely to find them in your pocket change or coin collection. 1980 Washington Quarter. The 1980 Washington Quarter was minted at several locations, including Philadelphia and Denver. Keep an eye out for any mint marks, as these can affect the coin's value. Minting errors and variations also contribute to the rarity of certain coins, making them highly sought after by collectors. As collectors, one of the burning questions we often have is, what is the current value of my 1980 Washington Quarter? Well, let's find out. The value of your 1980 Washington Quarter can vary based on factors like its condition, rarity, and overall demand in the collector's market. Checking online coin catalogs, attending coin shows, and consulting with experienced dealers can give you a better idea of its current value. Before we wrap up, let me share some tips for fellow collectors who might be interested in adding the 1980 Washington Quarter to their collection. Proper storage, authentication, and thorough research are key to building a successful coin collection. Take the time to learn more about the 1980 Washington Quarter and always stay informed about market trends and valuations. Well, there you have it, folks. The 1980 Washington Quarter, a coin with a rich history and unique design. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into its value and significance. If you have any stories or insights about the 1980 Washington Quarter, feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to WorthCoin channel, and stay tuned for more coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting.